Welcome everybody, Eugene Hughes Motorized. Hope everybody's doing great. All right, so let's talk about the carburetor on your 49cc Hu Shang Shen 142 engine. Okay, it's a little bit different than say the two-stroke carb many of us come to know and love. But uh, it, it's a pretty decent carburetor. Let me show you how the ins and outs and how this doggone thing works here. Let's go ahead and remove the air filter cover here. You just press in on these two tabs here. Press down on the two tabs. It, it tilts back. You've got these two little clips here which go into the two openings here at the bottom. So to put everything back together, we put that in there, we put our filter material in there, and it snaps in. So we've got that. So let's get this out of the way so we can take a little bit better look at this guy right here. All right, so right here is where the gas line that comes from your gas tank goes. So you got your tubing that, that comes up in the kit. You then put the filter, the fuel filter, and then that, the section goes to your gas tank. So this is the gas inlet. I get a lot of people asking about all the extra hoses, the two extra hoses you've got coming down from your carburetor. Well, first off, what you do is you just let them hang. Just let them hang, leave them alone. They're just tubes, they're not gonna bother you. Let's take a look at this one right here. This is the one that's on the right-hand side of the engine, right next to where your fuel inlet goes into your carburetor. This is a vent hose. This vents the inside of the carburetor, and it's an overflow. If your float valve gets stuck, you get a piece of trash in it, and it doesn't block the flow of gas coming in because it's gravity-fed, it will overflow. So if you've got gas peeing out of this here, uh, what you'll need to do is just take a screwdriver here and the, the float bowl here, give it a couple of taps. Give it a couple of whacks. Usually that'll get the trash loose and stop it. I've had a couple of them a few times. Uh, they may get stuck bowl two or three times and then it's good. You might have to remove the carburetor bowl Turn off your gas on your gas tank. And see the little bolt there? Remove the bolt, remove the carburetor bowl, clean everything out, put it back together, and you should be good. So this is the overflow vent hose here. On the left-hand side, We've got this tube here, which comes from the carburetor bowl. And if we look right there, there's a flathead screw. And if you loosen that screw, that then will allow whatever gas is in the carburetor bowl to drain out this tube here. So just go ahead and let this guy here hang down, keep it away from your chain, and you should be good to go. Now let's take a look at the top of this here. Okay, this here that I'm manipulating is the linkage. Your throttle cable goes in the cable adjuster here. Oh, wait a minute, wrong cable, wrong cable. Hold on, get that out the way. Your throttle cable goes into the adjuster here. Okay, so you've got this piece here that that's mounted onto the linkage. You've got a groove cut into it, and on one side of it, it's, it's just a square notch, and if you look at the other side, here it's got a round hole in it, and that round hole is where the cable goes in, and the barrel end will retract and go halfway into this piece here, and then you know that your cable is correct and then when you twist the throttle, 
that manipulates it. So let's show you one thing here. Now you've got to be careful when you get your throttle cable in your first time. You want to make sure, let me get the cable out of the way. A little something I want to show you here. Okay, when, this, when everything is released, this little tab right here bumps against the black screw, this black plastic screw here, nylon screw here, and it zeroes out. That, is, that will be your idle adjustment. So you will screw in on this little screw right here to adjust the idle. Screw in, that makes the linkage go like this here. The more the linkage goes this right here, the faster the idle will be. When you put your cable in, you've got to make sure that you get the adjuster, this adjuster in all the way, and on your throttle assembly, screw this one here in all the way. And you also, you want to make sure that this here is screwed all the way into your throttle housing to give you as much slack as you can here, because it's a pretty tight fit. If you don't get it, things screwed in all the way, you may go at, you may have it to where when you get the throttle cable in, it's going to be partially opening the carburetor and it's going to idle incredibly fast and uh, you don't want that, okay? This here is your choke lever on your carburetor. And if you ever forget, you can look on the air filter here. This here is the open position for your choke. That's the running position. And that is the starting position. And it goes on like this here. So you looking at it down, when you turn it counterclockwise, that is you pull the back end of this here out towards the right side of the bike, that closes the throat here in the carburetor and effectively chokes it, makes it pull additional gas in for starting. And then as the bike starts to run a little bit here, looking down on it, you turn it clockwise or push in from the right hand side and that will be your running position. Um, this particular carburetor right here has, uh, a lot of these carburetors are blocked off, have this little part right here blocked off. Uh, basically it has a hole drilled into the body or a recessed hole like we see right here and has a brass cap blocking that off. This is your uh, air fuel mixture screw. Uh, I do believe you screw out on it, that richens the mixture and you screw in on it and that makes it run leaner. Uh, they block that off for emissions here. Uh, this particular carb here has it available. Some get it, some don't. Uh, you can do some fine tuning on this here and uh, that way you can do a plug chop and uh, see if you're getting, a, see if it's too rich or too lean. Uh, look up videos on plug chop. Uh, well, I hope I uh, gave you a little bit of information on the carburetor that comes with the 142 Hushang 49cc motorized bike engine. If you like the video and you think it's going to help someone, give me a thumbs up. There's that subscribe and like button down there. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care.